Hello, everybody, and before the showing of the NNN or National News National News broadcast for my history project, uh, I'm going to put a little disclaimer here. Uh, the word, I mean, it's 19. The, the book that I'm reading, uh, The Watsons Go to Birmingham, is set in 1963, in which African Americans are called Negroes. And that word will be used three times throughout this thing, just because, you know, not in an offensive way, just, you know, nothing offensive, just, but if you are offended by that word, just, you know, leave the room, do whatever before those things kind of come up, because they're earlier on in the video, before the midway point, but... Yeah, I just wanted to let you know in case people are triggered, so enjoy. Hello everybody and thank you for tuning in to the National News Network. My name is Carson Hill and our top story this evening is a tragic one. A bomb supposedly placed by the Ku Klux Klan has gone off in a church in Birmingham, Alabama. Four Negro children, Denise McClare, Carol Robertson, Cynthia Wesley, Addie Mae, and Addie Mae Collins, have died as a result of the bombing. Reports say that the, that the blast was like a people magnet, causing everyone in the area to flock to the site of the explosion. Some families consider themselves lucky because their loved ones were not blown to smithereens. Others, were, others however, are grieving over the loss of their lo loved ones. In other news, Martin Luther King Jr. makes national news once again. While in Washington, D.C., Mr. King marched for Negro rights and delivered his I Have a Dream speech on the steps of the, on the, of the Lincoln Memorial. King ended his speech with the words of the old Negro spiritual, Free at last, free at last, thank God Almighty we are free at last. The march was somewhat successful as hundreds, as hundreds of people joined the march. In the world of sports, boxer... Cassius Clay had his mouth taped shut by trainer Angelo Dundee for saying some rather obscene things during his weigh-in before the before big before his big fight with Doug Jones in New York City. I'm now turning it over to Thomas Hill, our international correspondent for the international news. So I'm currently in Liverpool, England, where the Beatles' lead vocalist, Paul McCartney, is getting his hair cut in a local barber shop. Paul McCartney is getting his cut in a style that some would call still too long or scandalous. But regardless, McCartney's sporting the controversial cut. The U.S. has once again sent troops and supplies to Vietnam to aid in the containment of communism in the USSR. Many people are protesting the, the Vietnam War and are holding peaceful marches in Washington, D.C. An amendment is in the process of ratification because of the Vietnam War. The amendment will lower the voting age to 18 so the brave young men in Vietnam can vote. Back to you, Carson. Thank you, Thomas. Our final story tonight is about housewife Barbara Dunlap a volunteer in a psychiatric research study regarding the effect of LSD, a relatively new and legal drug in Cambridge, Massachusetts. Thank you to everybody who tuned in to the NNN this evening. We will return next week with more coverage of the nation's biggest news events. Carson Hill, signing out.